This video contains 35 common situations to practice basic business English conversation. After listening to these conversations, you will definitely want to use the expressions you have learned. Lesson 1. Introducing a friend. Listen and practice. Hi, I'm John. Nice to meet you. Hi, John. I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you too. Have you been with the company long? No, I just started last month. How about you? I've been here for three years now. It's a great place to work. That's good to hear. What do you do here? I'm in the marketing department. We handle all the advertising campaigns. Interesting. I'm in the accounting department. Accounting is important. Keeping track of finances is key in business. Absolutely. And good marketing drives the business forward. True. By the way, are you attending the conference next week? Yes, I am. Are you going as well? Yes, I think it will be a good opportunity to learn and network. I agree. It's always good to meet people from different departments. Definitely. Let's exchange contact information. It might be helpful to stay connected. That's a great idea. Here's my business card. Thanks, here's mine. Let's keep in touch. Sure, looking forward to it. Have a great day. Lesson 2. Meeting new colleagues. Listen and practice. Hi, I'm David. Are you new here? Yes, I'm Emma. I just joined today. Welcome to the team, Emma. Which department are you in? Thank you, David. I'm in the HR department. HR, that's great. I'm in the IT department. We often work closely with HR. Oh, that's interesting. I look forward to collaborating with you. Definitely. How are you finding the office so far? It's quite nice. Everyone seems friendly. Yes, it's a good work environment. Have you been given a tour yet? Not yet. I'm still getting settled in. I could show you around if you like. It's always helpful to know where everything is. That would be wonderful. Thank you. No problem. Do you have any questions about the company? Yes, actually. What's the culture like here? It's very collaborative and open. We have regular team meetings and value everyone's input. That sounds great. I'm eager to be a part of it. You'll fit right in. Let's go for that tour now? Yes, let's do that. Thanks for your help, David. Lesson 3. Scheduling a meeting. Listen and practice. Hi, Lisa. Do you have a moment? Sure, Mark. What's up? I'd like to schedule a meeting to discuss the upcoming project. Sounds good. When are you thinking? How about next Monday at 10 a.m.? Monday works, but can we do it at 11 a.m. instead? 11 a.m. is perfect. Should I book the conference room? Yes, please. And could you invite Tom and Susan from the design team? Of course, I'll add them to the invite. Will an hour be enough? I think so. We just need to outline the initial steps. Great. I'll prepare an agenda and send it out before the weekend. Thanks, Mark. That'll help us stay focused. No problem. Do you want to include anything specific on the agenda? Yes, let's also discuss the budget and timeline. Got it. I'll make sure those points are included. Perfect. I appreciate you organizing this, Mark. It's my pleasure. I'll send the meeting invite shortly. Thanks. See you then. Lesson 4. Attending a meeting. Listen and practice. Good morning, Emily. Are you ready for the meeting today? Good morning, Mike. Yes, I've prepared my presentation. Excellent. Did you get the revised agenda I sent out? Yes, I did. The addition of the client feedback section was a good idea. Thanks. I thought it would be beneficial for the team. What time will you present? I'm scheduled right after the budget discussion, around 10.30 a.m. Perfect. I'll make sure everyone is back from the break on time. Thanks, Mike. How long do I have for the presentation? You have 20 minutes followed by a 10-minute Q&A session. Sounds good. Do you know if the projector is set up in the meeting room? Yes, it's all set up. I checked it this morning. Great. I'll bring my laptop. Should I bring extra copies of the report? I've already printed copies for everyone. They're in the meeting room. 
That's very efficient of you, Mike. Thanks for handling these details. No problem at all. Let's make this meeting productive. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. See you there. Lesson 5, Joining a Lunch Break Listen and Practice Hi, Anna. Are you going for lunch now? Yes, I am, Tom. Just heading out. Great, mind if I join you? I'm new here and haven't explored the nearby places. Not at all. I know a great cafe nearby. That sounds perfect. Do they have a good selection? Yes, they have sandwiches, salads, and some vegan options too. Wonderful. I'm always up for trying new food. How long have you been with the company? About two years now. It's been a great experience. I'm glad to hear that. I'm just starting my second week here. Oh, how are you finding it so far? Everyone's been really welcoming. I'm in the finance department. That's a busy department. I'm in marketing myself. Yes, it's been a learning curve. What's your favorite project in marketing? I loved working on our recent social media campaign. Social media is so vital these days. Did you have lunch plans already, or can we head to the cafe? I didn't have plans. The cafe sounds great. Let's go. Perfect. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. It's nice to have company for lunch. Lesson 6. Asking for help with a task. Listen and practice. Hi, Laura. Do you have a minute? Sure, Kevin. What do you need? I'm struggling with the budget report. Can you help me? Of course. What specifically is the issue? I'm not sure how to categorize some of these expenses. Let's go through them together. I'll show you how. That would be really helpful. I appreciate it. No problem. Learning the system takes time. Yeah, I want to make sure it's accurate. Accuracy is key in budget reports. Let's start with the first item. Right? So, where would office supplies fall under? They're usually classified as office expenses. Got it. And what about travel costs for the sales team? Those are the travel expenses. They're separate from general expenses. I see. This is making more sense now. It's all about categorization. Anything else you're unsure about? Just a couple more items, but I think I've got the hang of it now. Great. I'm here if you have more questions. Thanks, Laura. You've been a huge help. Happy to assist, Kevin. Let's get that report done right. Lesson 7. Participating in a conference call. Listen and practice. Hi, Emily. Are you ready for the conference call at 2 p.m.? Hi, Josh. Yes, I've prepared my notes. Great. Do you know who all will be participating? Yes, the teams from London and Tokyo will join. That's a good mix. Do you have the call agenda? I do. First, we'll discuss the project timeline. Excellent. I'll talk about the budget after that. Perfect. I'll follow with the marketing plan. Sounds like we're well prepared. How long will the call be? It's scheduled for one hour. We need to be concise. Agreed. Should we do a quick tech check before the call? Good idea. Let's ensure our microphones and speakers work. Right? We don't want any technical issues during the call. Exactly. These international calls need to run smoothly. I'll log in 10 minutes early to check everything. I'll join you then. Better to be safe than sorry. Definitely. Let's make this call productive. Agreed. We have a lot to cover. I'll see you online. See you at 2 p.m. Thanks, Emily. No problem, Josh. Let's make it a great call. Lesson 8. Writing Professional Emails Listen and Practice Hi, Lisa. Can you help me draft an email? Sure, Tom. What's it about? It's to our supplier about a delayed shipment. Okay. Start with a polite greeting. Should I say, Dear Mr. Johnson? Yes, that's appropriate. Then mention the purpose of the email. Like, I am writing regarding our recent order? Exactly. Then, state the issue clearly. All right, we have not received the shipment due on the 5th. Good. Then, ask for an update politely. How about could you please provide a status update? Perfect. It's always good to be courteous. 
Should I mention the impact of the delay? Yes, but keep it professional. I'll add, this delay is impacting our production schedule. That's clear and to the point. Finally, I'll thank him for his attention to this matter. Yes, and close with us sincerely, Tom. Thanks, Lisa. Your advice makes this easier. Happy to help, Tom. A good email is important. Lesson 9, Negotiating with Clients Listen and Practice Hi, Emily. We need to negotiate with a client today. Hi, James. What's the main issue? They want a lower price on our services. Okay. We should start by understanding their budget. Right? We need to ask what they can afford. And then we can talk about adjusting the scope. Yes, maybe we can offer a smaller package. Exactly. It's about finding a middle ground. I'm also thinking of suggesting a longer contract. That's a good strategy. It could be more beneficial for both. Agreed. But we need to stay firm on our quality standards. Absolutely. Quality should not be compromised. I'll emphasize the value we bring to their business. That's important. Highlight our strengths. And if we can't agree? We can suggest revisiting the discussion in a few months. That's a good fallback. Thanks, Emily. No problem. Negotiations are all about balance. Lesson 10. Discussing a project. Listen and practice. Hi, Sarah. Ready to discuss the new project? Yes, I am, Mike. Where should we start? Let's begin with the project timeline. Good idea. The deadline is in three months. That's tight. We'll need to prioritize tasks. Absolutely. Let's start with the critical milestones. We should also assign team responsibilities early. Agreed. I'll draft a list of tasks for each team member. Great. What about resources? Do we have everything we need? We might need additional software for the design team. Let's make sure we allocate budget for that. Definitely. We can't afford delays due to lack of tools. Also, how often should we have project meetings? Weekly meetings would be ideal to track progress. Sounds good. We'll keep them concise and focused. Perfect. Let's make this project a success. Lesson 11, giving feedback. Listen and practice. Hi, Anna. I need to give feedback to our intern. Hi, Jack. What kind of feedback? His reports are good, but they lack detail. Start with positive feedback first. So, I should say your reports are well-structured? Yes, and then suggest adding more detail. Like, it would be beneficial to include more analysis? Exactly. It's constructive. Should I give examples? Yes, examples make it clearer. Okay, I'll prepare a few before our meeting. Also, encourage him to ask questions. Right? I'll let him know I'm available for guidance. That's good. Feedback is about growth. Thanks, Anna. I want to be supportive, not critical. You've got the right approach, Jack. Lesson 12, Receiving Feedback Listen and Practice Hi, Julia. I received your feedback on my project. Hi, Mark. I hope it was helpful. Yes, it was, but I have some questions. Sure. What do you need clarification on? You mentioned the need for more detailed analysis. Yes, especially in the market research section. Could you give me an example of what you're looking for? Of course. More statistics and trends would be useful. That makes sense. I'll work on adding those. Great. It's important to support our findings with data. Also, you suggested a different format. Yes, a more visual presentation would be effective. Like charts and graphs? Exactly. It makes the report more engaging. I'll try integrating those into the next draft. That would be excellent. Visuals can really enhance understanding. Thanks for your guidance, Julia. You're welcome, Mark. I'm looking forward to the revised version. Lesson 13, Sharing Office News Listen and Practice Hi, Emma. Have you heard the latest office news? Hi, Daniel. No, I haven't. What's up? We're getting a new team leader next month. Oh, really? 
Who is it? It's Susan from the marketing department. That's interesting. She has a great reputation. Yes, and she brings a lot of experience. How will this change our team? I think it'll bring fresh ideas and perspectives. That sounds promising. Definitely. Plus, there might be some restructuring. As long as it's for the better. I agree. Change can be good. True. It's always exciting to see new developments. Absolutely. Let's keep an open mind. Agreed. Thanks for the update, Daniel. Lesson 14, Reporting Progress. Listen and practice. Hi, Sarah. How's the project going? Hi, Chris. It's on track, thanks. Have you met the latest milestones? Yes, the design phase is complete. That's great news. What's next? We're starting the development phase now. Keep me updated on the progress. Will do. There might be some challenges ahead. What kind of challenges? Mainly technical, but our team is capable. Good to hear. Do you need any additional resources? Not currently, but I'll let you know if we do. All right. Remember, communication is key. Absolutely. I'll ensure regular updates. That's important for the project's success. Definitely. We're all committed to making this a success. Lesson 15, Solving Workplace Issues. Listen and practice. Hi, Lisa. There's an issue in the team I need help with. Hi, Paul. What's the problem? There's a conflict between two team members. Conflict? What's the cause? It's about workload distribution. Have you talked to them individually? Not yet. I wanted to get your advice first. It's good to understand both sides first. I plan to meet with them separately. That's a good approach. Keep an open mind. After that, should we have a joint discussion? Yes, but only after understanding the issue well. I want to resolve this without escalating. That's the best way. Handle it calmly. I'll try to mediate and find a fair solution. Keep the team's harmony in mind. Absolutely. The team's dynamics are important. Let me know if you need any assistance. Thanks, Lisa. I appreciate your support. You're welcome, Paul. Let's keep our workplace positive. Lesson 16, Making Small Talk. Listen and practice. Hi, Emily. How was your weekend? Hi, John. It was good, thanks. Went hiking. And yours? Relaxing. I did some reading. What book are you currently into? I'm reading a novel about historical Rome. Sounds fascinating. I love history books. What's the title? Empires and Emperors. Have you read it? No, but I'll add it to my list. Do you often hike? Yes, almost every weekend. Nature is refreshing. I agree. Maybe I should join you sometime. That would be great. Do you like the outdoors? I do. Photography is a hobby of mine. Perfect. There are some beautiful spots for photography. I'll look forward to it. What's your favorite trail? There's one by the lake that's absolutely serene. I've heard about it. Must be quite a view. It's stunning. I'll show you some photos sometime. I'd like that. Thanks, Emily. Anytime, John. Let's plan for that hike. Lesson 17, Discussing Company Policy. Listen and practice. Hi, Sarah. Have you seen the new company policy updates? Hi, David. Yes, I just read the email. What do you think about the new remote work guidelines? They seem flexible. Two days remote work per week. Yes, it's a good balance. Do you think it will affect productivity? I think it might actually improve it. Agreed. People might be more relaxed. What about the dress code? It's more casual now, which I think is a good move. Definitely. Comfort can boost morale. Any thoughts on the new training programs? They look comprehensive, especially the leadership training. I was thinking the same. Are you considering enrolling? Yes, I'm interested in developing my skills further. Me too. Continuous learning is important. Absolutely. It's good to see the company investing in us. Yes, it shows they value their employees. Indeed. It's a positive step forward.
Lesson 18. Planning a business trip. Listen and practice. Hi, Laura. We need to plan our trip to the New York office. Hi, Mike. Yes, when are we thinking of going? How about the first week of next month? That works. Should we fly out on Monday? Monday is perfect. Gives us time to prepare. Agreed. How many days will we need there? I'd say three days. We have several meetings lined up. Sounds good. Should we book a hotel nearby? Yes, something close to the office would be convenient. I'll look into it. Any preference on the flight timings? An early flight would be best. We can rest and then prepare. Okay, I'll find the earliest available flight. Great. Let's also schedule a team meeting before we go. To discuss the agenda and expectations? Exactly. We need to be well prepared. I'll organize the meeting for next week. Thanks, Laura. This trip is important for our project. Understood, Mike. We'll make it a successful one. Lesson 19. Booking Travel Arrangements Listen and Practice Hi, Anna. Can you help me with booking a flight? Hi, Paul. Sure, where are you headed? To the conference in Berlin next month. Okay. Do you have specific dates in mind? From the 15th to the 19th. I'll check the flights. Any preference on airlines? Something with comfortable legroom. Long flights can be tiring. I understand. What about your hotel stay? A place close to the conference venue would be ideal. I'll find a hotel within walking distance. That would be great. Also, can you arrange a rental car? Of course. Do you need it for the entire stay? Just for the first and last days. Got it. I'll take care of all the details. Thanks, Anna. I appreciate your help. No problem, Paul. I'll confirm everything soon. Lesson 20, Attending a Networking Event Listen and Practice Hi, Emily. Are you going to the networking event tonight? Hi, Tom. Yes, I'm planning to. Are you? I am. It's a great opportunity to meet industry peers. Absolutely. Have you been to this event before? No, this is my first time. Any tips? Just be yourself and have plenty of business cards. Good advice. How do you usually approach conversations? I start by talking about common interests in our industry. That makes sense. It keeps the conversation relevant. Exactly. And don't forget to listen actively. Listening is as important as talking, right? Definitely. It helps build genuine connections. I'll keep that in mind. Any particular people you're hoping to meet? Yes, a few potential clients and collaborators. Networking can really open doors. It can. Let's make the most of it tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for the advice, Emily. No problem, Tom. See you there. Lesson 21. Managing time effectively. Listen and practice. Hi, Rachel. I'm struggling with managing my time. Any tips? Hi, Chris. Sure, have you tried making a daily task list? I haven't. Does it help? Yes, it helps you prioritize and focus on important tasks. Sounds good. How detailed should it be? Include key tasks and allocate time for each. I'll try that. What about unexpected tasks? Allocate some buffer time for unexpected work. That's a great idea. And meetings? They take up so much time. Only attend meetings that are necessary. I'll keep that in mind. What about multitasking? It's better to focus on one task at a time for efficiency. I thought multitasking was productive. It can actually reduce the quality of your work. That makes sense. I'll start with these tips. Thanks. You're welcome. Managing time well boosts productivity. Lesson 22, Setting Goals and Objectives. Listen and Practice. Hi, Emma. I'm setting my goals for the quarter. Any advice? Hi, John. Start with clear, achievable objectives. Should they be long-term or short-term? A mix of both. Short-term goals lead to long-term achievements. How specific should I be? The more specific, the better. It gives you direction. Got it. 
What about measuring progress? Set milestones to track your progress. That sounds helpful. Should I write them down? Yes, writing goals makes them more tangible. I'll do that. And if I fall behind? Adjust your plan, but don't lose sight of the end goal. I'll remember that. Any other tips? Share your goals with a mentor for accountability. That's a good idea. I'll talk to my manager about them. Great. Goals keep you focused and motivated. Lesson 23 Collaborating with Teammates. Listen and practice. Hi, Sarah. How can we improve our team collaboration? Hi, Mark. Regular communication is key. Should we have more meetings? Not necessarily more, but more effective ones. Makes sense. What about sharing work? Clearly define roles and responsibilities. That would help. And decision making? Encourage open discussion and input from everyone. Good idea. How do we handle disagreements? With respect and a focus on finding solutions. I'll remember that. What about remote team members? Use collaborative tools and schedule regular check-ins. Technology really helps. Any suggestions on tools? Project management software can be very useful. I'll look into that. Thanks for the advice, Sarah. No problem. Good teamwork leads to success. Lesson 24, Handling Customer Inquiries. Listen and practice. Hi, Lisa. I'm new to customer service. Any tips on handling inquiries? Hi, Alex. Always listen carefully to the customer's needs. Should I take notes? Yes, it helps you remember details and follow up. What if I don't know the answer? It's okay to say you'll find out and get back to them. That's reassuring. How about difficult customers? Stay calm and empathetic. Try to understand their perspective. I'll try that. And responding to emails? Be clear, concise, and polite. Address their concerns directly. Got it. What about follow-up? Always confirm that their issue has been resolved. That seems important. Any final tips? Treat every inquiry as an opportunity to improve customer satisfaction. Great advice. Thanks, Lisa. You're welcome. Good customer service is crucial. Lesson 25, making a sales pitch. Listen and practice. Hi, Emily. I'm preparing a sales pitch. Any suggestions? Hi, Tom. Start with understanding the client's needs. How detailed should I be about our product? Be detailed, but focus on how it benefits them. Makes sense. Should I anticipate questions? Yes, and prepare answers, especially for tough ones. I'll work on that. How about the presentation style? Keep it engaging and interactive. Use visuals if possible. Good idea. What if they seem uninterested? Shift the focus. Ask them questions to re-engage. That's smart. How long should the pitch be? Keep it concise. Respect their time. I'll aim for that. Any closing tips? End with a strong summary and a call to action. That should make an impact. Thanks for your help, Emily. You're welcome. A good pitch can make all the difference. Lesson 26, Closing a Deal. Listen and practice. Hi, Jessica. I'm close to closing a deal. Any last-minute tips? Hi, Eric. Ensure you've addressed all their concerns. I have. Should I reiterate the main benefits? Yes, emphasize how your product meets their needs. Got it. What about the contract? Review it carefully before the final meeting. I'll double-check it. Should I discuss future support? Definitely. They should know they're in good hands. I'll assure them of our ongoing support. What if they want more time? Give them space, but set a follow-up date. Makes sense. Any closing strategies? End on a positive note, summarizing the value you're offering. I'll do that. And negotiation? Stay flexible, but don't compromise too much on your terms. I'll keep that balance. Thanks, Jessica. You're welcome. Good luck with closing the deal. Lesson 27, Discussing Budgets and Finances. Listen and practice. Hi, Karen. I need advice on discussing budgets with the team. Hi, Brian. 
start by outlining the current financial situation. Should I include detailed financial reports? Provide summaries. Too many details can be overwhelming. Makes sense. How do I address budget cuts? Be honest, but also explain the reasons behind them. I'll be clear about that. And if there are questions? Answer them directly, and if you don't know, promise to find out. I'll be prepared for questions. How about future budgeting? Discuss plans and get input from the team. Input from the team is a good idea. Any tips on making it engaging? Use visuals to illustrate points and keep it interactive. I'll include some charts. Thanks, Karen. You're welcome. Clear communication is key in financial matters. Lesson 28, celebrating birthdays at work. Listen and practice. Hi, Sarah. How should we celebrate birthdays in the office? Hi, Mark. Maybe a small celebration during break time? Should we get a cake for each person? Yes, and maybe ask each person their preferred type of cake. Good idea. What about gifts? A simple, thoughtful gift from the team would be nice. I'll organize a collection for gifts. Decorations? Just a few balloons or streamers to keep it festive but not overdone. I'll keep it simple. Should we make it a surprise? Yes, surprises always make it more special. I think so too. What about singing happy birthday? Definitely, it's a nice touch. I'll coordinate with the team. Thanks for the ideas, Sarah. You're welcome. Birthdays are a great way to build team spirit. Lesson 29, Sharing Productivity Tips Listen and Practice Hi, Emily. I'm trying to be more productive. Any tips? Hi, Tom. Have you tried the Pomodoro technique? No, what's that? It's working in focused intervals, usually 25 minutes, then taking a short break. Sounds interesting. I'll try it. What about managing tasks? Prioritize your tasks daily and tackle the most important ones first. I'll start doing that. Any suggestions for email management? Check your email at specific times, not constantly. That's a good idea. And meetings? Keep them short and to the point. I've noticed long meetings can be unproductive. Any tools you recommend? Task management software can help keep track of everything. I'll look into those. Thanks for the advice, Emily. You're welcome. Finding what works for you is key. Lesson 30, Embracing Company Culture. Listen and practice. Hi, Laura. I'm still adjusting to the company culture. Any advice? Hi, Jason. Try to engage in company activities and social events. I've been a bit hesitant. Are they important? Yes, they're great for understanding the values and people in the company. I'll make an effort to join in. What about feedback culture? Be open to giving and receiving constructive feedback. I'll keep that in mind. How about dress code? Observe what others wear, but stay true to your professional style. Got it. What if I have ideas to contribute? Speak up in meetings or discuss them with your team. I'm full of ideas. Collaboration? Collaboration is key. Work closely with your colleagues. I'll try to collaborate more. Thanks for the tips, Laura. You're welcome. Embracing the culture makes work more enjoyable. Lesson 31, Conversation in a Factory. Listen and practice. Hi, Jane. How's the assembly line running today? Hi, Tom. It's running smoothly, no issues. Great. Did you update the maintenance logs? Yes, I did it first thing this morning. Perfect. Are there enough safety supplies? We're a bit low on gloves. I'll order more. Good call. Any updates on the machine calibration? The technician checked them yesterday. All good. Excellent. How's the new staff adapting? They're doing well. Still learning, but catching on quickly. That's good to hear. Let's ensure they receive proper training. Absolutely. Safety and efficiency are our top priorities. Agreed. Are the production targets for this week on track? Yes, we're even a bit ahead of schedule. Impressive. Keep up the good work, Jane. Thanks, Tom. I'll keep you posted on any updates. Lesson 32, Job Interview. Listen and practice. Good morning, Sarah. 
I'm David, the hiring manager. Good morning, David. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Why are you interested in this role? I'm excited about the opportunity to contribute my skills to your team. What relevant experience do you have? I have three years of experience in marketing, which aligns with this role. That's great. How do you handle tight deadlines? I prioritize tasks and stay organized to meet deadlines efficiently. Good approach. How do you work in a team? I believe in open communication and collaboration. Those are important here. What's your biggest strength? My adaptability. I thrive in dynamic environments. Adaptable employees are vital. Any questions for me? Yes, what's the team culture like here? We value collaboration and continuous learning. That sounds perfect for me. Thank you for this opportunity. Lesson 33, Dismissal. Listen and practice. Hi, Emily. We need to talk about your performance. Hi, Mark. I understand. Let's discuss it. Unfortunately, it hasn't met our expectations. I've been trying to improve. Can I get another chance? We've given several warnings and haven't seen enough progress. I realize that. Is there anything I can do? At this point, we have to let you go. That's disappointing. What's the next step? We'll provide a severance package and assistance in job searching. I appreciate that. How long do I have? Your employment ends today, but we'll support you for the next month. Thank you for the support. I'll gather my things. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Thanks, Mark. I've learned a lot here. Lesson 34, Restructuring. Listen and practice. Hi, Lisa. We need to discuss the company's restructuring. Hi, John. Yes, I heard about the changes. It's a tough decision but necessary for our growth. How will it affect our department? We have to reduce our team by 10%. That's unfortunate. How will we decide? We're evaluating based on performance and skills. It's going to be a difficult time for everyone. We understand and will support those affected. What kind of support will be offered? Job search assistance and severance packages. That's good to hear. We need to handle this sensitively. Absolutely. We'll communicate clearly and compassionately. It's important to maintain morale during this time. Lesson 35, end of the day. Listen and practice. Hi, Karen. It's almost the end of the day. How did it go? Hi, Mike. It was productive, thanks. And yours? Busy, but I managed to finish the report. That's great. Any plans after work? I might hit the gym. How about you? I'll probably relax at home tonight. Sounds like a good plan. Do you need any help before leaving? No, I'm all set. Thanks for asking. No problem. How's the project coming along? It's on track. I'll have an update by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Let's lock up the office. Sure, I'll turn off the lights. Thanks, Karen. Have a great evening. You too, Mike. See you tomorrow.